Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2020 Mercedes AMG A35 4Matic sedan, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build in price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The smallest member of the Mercedes-Benz family, the A-Class, welcomes a new performance model to the lineup this year, the 2020 Mercedes-AMG A35, an entry-level sports sedan with 302 horsepower, standard all-wheel drive, an aggressive-looking face, and a raspy-sounding voice. This starter AMG takes aim at the Audi S3, BMW M235i Grand Coupe, and Volkswagen Golf R. It shares much with the new 35 version of Mercedes CLA four-door coupe, namely its architecture and engine, but looks far more traditional in its body styling than that swoopy roofed Benz. Without turning to the used car market, the A35 is the most economical way to own an AMG. But don't be fooled by its price. There's still plenty of luxury baked into this pint-sized Mercedes. Under the A35's hood, sits an AMG enhanced turbocharged 2 liter 4 cylinder engine that churns out 302 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. All wheel drive comes standard and the 7 speed dual clutch automatic boasts a race start launch control feature that allows for maximum acceleration from a standstill. Mercedes estimates the A35 will do 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds, which is about right for the class. I think it's unlikely, though, that the brand will bring the 382 horsepower A45, or if they even have a faster one, they have an A45S that makes 416 horsepower, but neither one of those will be coming to the States. Those are actually hatchbacks, too. Uh, but don't fret if you want a more if you want an AMG that has a little bit more power than the A35. Then, like I said, the A35 is based off the CLA. They both are based off of each other. Well, the CLA45 makes more power, and it goes for about ten thousand dollars more than the A35. True to its AMG branding, the A35's cabin has some sporty touches. The steering wheel comes wrapped in perforated leather and features galvanized pedals for controlling the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic. If you want a little more luxury, Mercedes offers real wood in place of the standard aluminum trim, as well as leather upholstery. The factory will also install a 64-color ambient light system complete with backlit center vents for those who dig a nightclub vibe. As the smallest of AMG models, the A-Class will undoubtedly be a tight fit for some, but as for cargo room, the A35 with 9 cubic feet of trunk space falls a little bit short of the S3 and the 2 Series Grand Coupe, which have 10 and 15 cubic inches of space, uh, cubic feet of space, respectively. For many, the 2020 Mercedes AMG A35 will open the door to AMG ownership. But while you can get one for less than $50,000, I wouldn't recommend it. You're going to want to at least get the $2,200 driver assistance package because it has adaptive crews and, and all manner of anti-collision wizardry. But you can't stop there. Once you select this package, Mercedes requires that you shell out another $1,100 for the multimedia pack, which includes navigation and traffic sign recognition. Then you can pop down another $725 for the premium pack, which gives you the keyless entry and power folding auto dimming mirrors, which I like that. And you can tack on another $850 for the adaptive suspension. And you're looking at a, mm, somewhere around just over $50,000 for this A-Class now all of a sudden. So uh, while it does have a starting price of $44,950, chances are you're going to spend a little bit more than that out the door. Okay, let's get into this build and price review of the new Mercedes AMG A35 sedan. And look at this thing. It is really attractive. I love that it has short overhangs. You know, there's not a whole bunch over the front fender and over the or over the front wheel and over the back wheel. It's got very short overhangs, and I love that little spoiler in the back. But hey, real quick, before we get started with this, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. In the intro, I mentioned some vehicles like the Golf R and the BMW M240i and the Audi S3. Well, I've done the build and price review of the M240i. I did a build and price review of the Golf R. I haven't done the S3, but I did do the 2020 uh, Audi S4, 
with the Premium Plus with the Sport Package. I actually did the 2020 uh, CLA 250 with the AMG line. I put a, quite a few links down in the description below. So after you watch this video, watch one or two of those other videos, would you? Okay, so before we actually do the build in price and hit the uh, Mercedes configurator and spec this thing out, and before we check out all the features, let's just find out what other models there are, check the prices, look at the colors, check the gallery. So there's only one model of, of A-Class with an AMG. The other models of AMG do not come to the States. I mentioned them. There's the A45 and the A45S. They're both super sweet looking hatchbacks, actually. I would think they'd be really popular here. But for whatever reason, they're not here in the States. We only get the A35 Formatic sedan as an AMG variant, and it has a starting price of $44,950. Let's see what kind of exterior colors this thing comes in. So this color here that we're looking at is polar white. So let's start on the polar opposite then. Uh, how about uh, what color is this? Designio Mountain Gray Mango. That is, a, that's a mouthful. B, in this thing, it looks very ugly. These are the matte paint colors that you're going to pay more for this Designio. Uh, here's a Patagonia Red Metallic. Seems to be the same colors as the CLA. Like I said, I just did a build-in price of the CLA 250. These seem to be the same colors. Denim Blue. We've got Mojave Silver. Yeah, Mountain Silver. I'm sorry. Yeah, Mojave Silver. And then Mountain Gray. Sorry. Iridium Silver. Love Iridium Silver. Uh, there's Cosmos Black. There's Digital White Metallic. And then there's Night Black. Okay, so we found out about the price. We checked the exterior colors. Now let's go through the exterior gal. Let's go. Let's go through the gallery photos. They're going to show us some exterior photos of the uh, A35, and they're going to show us some interior photos. I think Mercedes are very attractive. They always have been. Uh, this is a very good-looking car. I wish they show us a little side profile. Here's a, here's a uh, here's a shot from the front. It's got the twin bar. Uh, uh, Mercedes emblem uh, recessed into the uh, front grille here. It's very attractive. It says Turbo Formatic on the front fenders. Formatic means it's all-wheel drive. Love the exhaust. I love how the exhaust is dual single outlet exhaust versus like the little quad tip. I think it looks awesome. I think it looks awesome. Like this car a lot. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Can we get some interior photos, please? All right, here we go. Here's that optional 64, uh, uh, the, uh, what was that? The ambient lighting thing. Uh, here's a nice shot of the interior. So very upscale, and it should be. The car is going to still cost you $50,000 plus by the time you do our options. So <clears throat> we're going to option this thing out, and we'll see what we come out to. It's a nice looking car. Very, very nice looking interior. Looks really, really upscale. All right, so it looks like we've gone through all the exterior and interior photos. Now we're actually ready to go check out the features. So let's go do that. So we already, we already found out about the engine. The engine makes 302 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. Uh, it's all-wheel drive because it's even telling us here power is set to all four wheels and wisely. Uh, right, because it makes a lot of power, and it's going to have a lot of torque steer if it was just front-wheel drive. And even if it was rear-wheel drive, maybe it's just a lot of torque for that little car. At any rate, there's a three-stage electronic stability program called ESP. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's got torque vectoring. Uh, dynamic corner and assist and all that. So that's pretty cool. I don't see the word available. So that sounds like all this here is all standard equipment for the A35 AMG. Here they're just talking about the uh, formatic, the all-wheel drive. They're just saying that it's a uh, lightweight, compact, intelligent, monitors acceleration, cornering forces, and driving inputs. And so then it's going to do what it needs to do to help keep uh, he help keep that car with uh, traction, help keep it planted. Speaking of traction and, flat and planted, here's a, a shot of the suspension, uh, the AMG Sport suspension, which features double wishbone and multi-link rear suspension. Oh, here, yeah, and here's the available three-stage AMG ride control, right? So you can adapt the damping rate at each wheel in milliseconds, they say. Of course, you've got the AMG brakes, high-performance braking system, 
You got four piston uh, front calipers, uh, and they're 13.8 inches in size. That would be the rotors. So what do they got here? They got a little movie playing, guys throwing down on the road, uh, and they're talking about the AMG Dynamic Select, which lets you vary the shifting throttle, all-wheel drive, and more via console button. In addition uh, to comfort, slippery, sport, and sport plus modes. There he is. There's a sport plus mode. We just saw it. Or you can set up your own individual program. So this is an available feature called the AMG Drive Unit. So, yeah, you see how how easy it would be to get over that $50,000 mark if you want all these little fun little toys. The interior is just absolutely gorgeous. The digital cockpit, right? You got the twin uh, dual reconfigurable 10.25 inch displays and a central touchscreen power sport front seats, 64 color ambient lighting. Yeah, and it's got that thing where it, this is the Mercedes uh, MBUX interface. It's all brand new. So you can say, hey, Mercedes, and that calls up the voice assistant. And it has and it has it's an advanced learning. So it'll learn your voice and your words and things like that. Pretty cool. Here they're talking about the AMG steering wheel. Looks like they've got a few different configurations here. Uh, they say fingertip or thumb control of gear changes, cabin features, available performance settings. Uh, you can get it with a flat bottom steering wheel. Uh, performance steering wheel is available in Napa leather, Grippa, uh, and, and, and Alcantara, that suede thing that they use. Or you could have kind of a combination of both. So got a few options with your steering wheel. This steering wheel over here on the far right looks heavily loaded. There's your little sport plus button down there and all that. Here they're talking about the AMG racing seats. These are optional seats. These are not the standard seats. These super good-looking seats are the ones you got to pay extra for. Uh, so they have deep side bolsters. They have integrated head restraints. Uh, they're also heated and power adjustable, uh, hand-fitted in leather. They also feature the tailored support of precise multi-contour adjustment. They look very, very nice. I love these seats. Okay, looks like you have some wheel options, too. Looks like there's four different wheel options for the 2020 Mercedes-AMG A35. Uh, you've got the standard 18-inch twin five-spoke wheels. Those are probably here, the ones on the far left. And you've got three 19-inch wheel options, right? So there you go. So you can see how you can easily push up over $50,000. You're not going to just say, give me the base model, I'm out the door. So you can add some different kinds of uh, sport appearance packages on onto your A35 AMG. You can add the AMG Night package, which kind of clo cloaks key elements in gloss black. Or there's an AMG Aerodynamics package, which extends the front splitter and rear spoiler, adds rear flicks, and finishes them in gloss black. I think I like the aerodynamic package myself. So let's check some key specifications and check out some other key standard features, and then we'll be ready to do our build. And oh, we'll check out what available packages there are, too. So here's some feature highlights of the uh, 2020 Mercedes AMG A35. Seats five people. You got 8.6 cubic feet of cargo capacity. Uh, the engine. As far as that's concerned, you get 24 miles to the gallon on the, in, the, in the city, and you get 31 miles to the gallon on the highway. We already know about the engine, 302 horsepower, 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, blah, 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 2-liter engine, da, 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 da. Up here, we've got some specs for the engine for the car as far as dimensions. Uh, overall length, 179.4 inches, so about 180 inches long. Uh, just over 78 inches wide, this car. That's not including the mirrors, it looks like. And it's about 55 and a half inches tall, 55.6 inches tall. Here we can look at some quick interior dimensions. Uh, front headroom is 40.3 inches. Uh, front shoulder room is 55.1 inches. Front leg room is 41.8 inches. Now, in the back, you got 37.2 for your headroom. You got 54 inches flat for your shoulder room in the back. And for your leg room in the back, you got 33.9 inches of leg room if you happen to be in the back of this thing. 
Okay, let's talk about key features. Let's talk about key features for the 2020 Mercedes AMG A35. They've got some categories here: performance, design, safety, luxury, multimedia. So we're going to go through the key features and then we'll move on, right? Yeah. So key features as far as performance is concerned. You got that standard 2-liter inline turbocharged engine that makes over 300 horsepower. You got standard Eco Stop Start system. You got the standard 7-speed dual clutch transmission. You have standard AMG Performance Formatic all-wheel drive. All right. That's what we have for the performance category. Under design, what do we have? Standard elegance and eagerness. Right. A standard good-looking car. Right. You got a star-centered grill. Right. The star Mercedes star is in the center of the grill. You got LED headlamps. Uh, they say the hood is wide and low. So they're just basically talking about the styling. You got the AMG styling. You got high stylized cabin with a lot of tech in there, digital instruments and displays, touch pads, and all that kind of stuff. Power front seats with memory, dual zone climate control, panoramic roof. Uh, there's that panoramic roof. Uh, you got AMG a body styling, which you can even add to. I like the aerodynamics package. I think we're going to go with that. And so, yeah, there you go. That's that's design. So under safety, what do we got? They're telling us some some safety stuff that, that comes standard with the 835 AMG. Uh, active brake assist, Mercedes-Benz emergency call service, attention assist, standard LED daytime running lamps. Yeah, what else do we have here? Under luxury, we've got uh, standard power front seats with three-position memory. We have standard sport front seats. Those don't look nearly as attractive as those AMG racy looking ones we saw. No, these look sad in comparison, honestly. Yeah, there they are, the optional AMG performance front seats. Now it says available. It's telling us what packages it's available in. But we're going to check out the packages here in a second. Uh, standard 40, 20, 40 split folding rear seats. And standard power front seat. Yeah, we, we saw that, didn't we? Yeah. Under multimedia, what do we got? Standard uh, Mercedes-Benz user experience. That's the 10.25-inch the, the, the screens and all that stuff. You got standard voice control with natural voice language understanding. You got that standard Hey Mercedes keyword activation. That's what activates the advanced uh, voice assistant. You got the optional... MBUX interior assistant. This overhead camera lets you respond to the driver's and front passenger's hands and arm movements. So you have a camera sitting there looking at you all the time. Eh, I don't know how I feel about that. All right, let's move on. Okay, so let's talk about packages. What packages are available? What packages are available for the 2020 Mercedes AMG uh, A35? First of all, let's be clear on something. All of these packages down, so from, from, from right about here, from right about here where it says Mercedes-Benz Premier Service, this is all prepaid maintenance stuff. All this stuff down here, prepaid maintenance, concierge service. There's really, there are quite a few packages, but there's really only these many packages right here. Parking assist package, driver assist package, multimedia package, premium package, AMG performance seat package, AMG performance Seat package advance, and, and then a regular one, and then exterior lighting package. That's a lot of packages. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to spend $46,000 on this car. You're going to spend fifty, maybe $60,000 on this car if you think you want everything. All right, so let's go through these packages real fast. Exterior lighting package is $900. It comes with two things. You get the active LED headlamps, and you get the adaptive high beam assist. That's $900. Then there's the AMG Performance Seat Package. It's $3,200 and change. You get those beautiful AMG front seats. You get the heated front seats. And you get the multi-contour front seats. All right. Uh, now, if you get the advanced version of that, it's only going to cost you a little bit more, another $120. So what are they giving you? Uh, they give you the AMG Performance Front Seats and the multi-contour front seats. Okay. Uh, then there's a premium package for $1,275. That gives us what? The blind spot assist, the auto dimming driver side mirrors, inside rear view mirror, uh, power folding side mirrors, hands free access so you can open the trunk, uh, keyless go. All right, that's $1,275. There's a multimedia package that gives us the navigation system. 
the augmented video for navigation, speed limit assist, and no charge navigation map update for three years. That's going to cost you $1,150. Two more packages. Wow. Now, here's your money package right here for $2,250. This is all your driver assistance. This is all your safety stuff. And so that matters. Assistance, active, dis it's, uh, active distance assist, Distronic, uh, active steering assist, evasive steering assist, active brake assist with cross-traffic function, uh, active emergency stop assist. You can really get this thing loaded up. Active speed limit assist, active lane keeping assist, active blind spot assist. The word assist means that the system will intervene at some point if you don't. Um, Pre-safe plus, pre-safe sound, road based speed route based speed adaption all right lots of stuff for twenty two hundred and fifty dollars last package is a parking package it's one thousand ninety dollars gives you a surround view system and it gives you active parking assist honestly like i said i just did the cla 250 and these these are almost close with the exception of the amg packages this is basically the same packages for the cla 250 at any rate we've kind of gone through everything now we can actually do our build and price. So let's go do that now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is check, uh, pick our exterior color. You know, I think I'm going to go with the night black. I think I'm going to go with the night black. Uh, what did I say that I liked? I said that I liked that AMG aerodynamics package. So they're going to give us that AMG night package, right? Um, I like the carbon style mirrors. Right. Oh, oh, that's the AMG night package gives you that. Oh, <laughs> to add that feature, we must also remove the AMG night package. I didn't think that we. Oh, they got to remove all of that stuff. Oh, OK. Um, so let's see. Hmm. Go ahead and make those changes then. Make those changes because I well, actually you know what? I'm going to scratch that. I think the aerodynamics package is cool. And let's just reiterate that aerodynamics package. What's all included with that? Uh, front and right spoilers, uh, airflow breakaway. Yeah, you know what? I think I'd be happy with that. Let's just do the aerodynamics package. Okay. We could always go to the dealer and maybe grab these things at the parts counter. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't realize that we have both. I didn't realize you had to have both packages checked. Is that is that how that works? Oh, you have to have both? Really? Interesting. I didn't catch that. Maybe you did. I didn't realize it was doing both. I guess I didn't read that when it did that the first time. So you got to have both packages. Typical Mercedes stuff. Uh, do I want the active lights? No, not now. All right? Not now. Not, not necessarily. Uh, yes, but no. Uh, so we got black. What do we want for wheels? I'm going to do the 19-inch wheels, and I'm going to do the matte black wheels. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't really like the black wheels. I don't really like any of the wheels, to be honest with you. Here, what's the 19 inch? Those are quite ugly, I think. Let's do the uh, multi-spoke with black accents. That's, the, I think that works. Let's do those. I'm not really crazy about any of the wheel options. Uh, what else we got here for the seats, for the interior? I do want to go with the leather. And so where is that going to get us the leather? Here's the black leather. It's $1,450 because whatever this, whatever this Neva Gray and black MB text for fifty thousand dollars, we're already we're, you can't give us leather at any rate. Typical Mercedes stuff, but it's all good. Uh, we're gonna throw the black leather on there for fourteen fifty. Okay, so now we have the black leather. All right, now we have the black leather. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. Now you have the black leather. As far as trims concerned, they have uh, walnut wood. There's all woods. There's no carbon fiber. So mm, give me the wood then. Give me the wood. The wood doesn't look bad. There's the wood right there. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of any of the trims, to be honest with you. So there it is. I do, you know, here's the deal. Where are we at? We're sitting at $49,000 right now for this little car. If we go ahead and bump up these AMG performance seats, this thing is going to get real expensive. But you know what? I don't really care. Let's go ahead and throw these seats on here because these are the seats that I would want. And we got to add the premium package to that. And to add that feature, we must also... So to add that those seats, they got to go back to the the MB text, and so I guess I'm not willing to do the MB text. And based on that, we're just gonna leave it. All these extra steering wheels, while they're cool, mm, I'm gonna skip over all that stuff. 
I do like the illuminated door sills, however. Uh, with that said, let's move on to entertainment and convenience. All right, what do we have here? Premium package, <clears throat> multimedia package. Uh, give me the premium package. I'll take that. Uh, we have the keyless go. Okay. Uh, I want the heads up display. Uh, I want a garage door opener. Come on. I want a garage door opener and give me the better sound system. Give me the, uh, Burmester surround sound system. Uh, and what about performance and safety? Uh, there's that driver assistance package. You know, that's, it's a lot of money and it kind of stinks that it's not all bundled in there or some of it's not bundled in there, but part of a new car, what makes a new car cool is all the technology, all the safety technology. So I'm popping for that. You understand? Oh, wow. They got it. Make us add the multimedia package. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So that's all that. Now where we send that 57, yeah, six, almost 60 grand, <clears throat> uh, blind spot assist. Yeah. I want the wheel locks though. <clears throat> they could cheat. They can, uh, might as well give me the AMG ride control too, for that for that, and give me the AMG track pace too. I figure I'm already sitting at fifty-seven thousand. I mean, here we are at fifty-eight thousand. You get a few extra things, a few extra toys to play with. Uh, over here at service and care, this is all prepaid maintenance stuff, so we don't mess with any of that. So let's jump over to the summary. All right, so here we are. Uh, this life for this vehicle started at what forty-six thousand nine hundred fifty dollars or something like that. And now we're sitting at 58000 so we added 12, 000, almost $12,000, $11,000 and change. 40, it was $44,000. We added a lot, right? Almost $14,000 in options. <laughs> but that's typical Mercedes stuff. But now you got a Mercedes that you might want to drive. You got a Mercedes that you might want to drive. It's very nice. Got a lot of stuff. Uh, I like the Mercedes. I, I like this one. I like the short overhangs. I would love to see the hatchback in the States, though. But, boy, you're going to pay seventy grand for that A45S for sure. And there's one last shot of the interior. I don't know how I feel about the wood. I wish they would have had, like, a carbon fiber package or something like that. At any rate, I still like the car. It's cool. Uh, on that note, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up of the 2020 uh, Mercedes AMG A35 Formatic Sedan. If you found this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you watch some of those other videos down in the description below.